mami. Well, on October 29th, um, we decided to take Sunny to the vet because she wasn't eating or, or acting right. She liked to hide when she didn't feel well. I expected to bring her home and just give her some medicine. And when we got there, he said there was pretty much nothing we could do for her. And we decided to see if they would do surgery to see if there was any possible way for our own peace of mind to save her. I was very nervous, anxious, scared, sad. Um, when I was at school, I expected to come home and her be there. But when I got home, I learned that she had to have surgery. And when we got there, uh, she had already passed. Grief and grieving, and this isn't really academic, it's just me, is just the experience of loss. There was something in your life, and now it's gone. I was really upset that day. Um, I feel like I didn't get to say goodbye enough. I don't know, I really wanted to just spend more time with her before she passed. part about grieving over an animal is that not everybody understands why you would feel so hor like if your family member dies you're expected to call out of work that's just what you do but if a pet dies nobody sees that as important enough like you're just expected to kind of go on but the loss is is the same I have accepted that she has passed and every day gets a little better and better Knowing that there's nothing more you could do, um, that they're in a better place, that you, give the, you gave them everything that they deserved, a, a warm place to live, food, um, affection. I've accepted that she's passed. I know she was sick, she needed to go, but I really didn't want her to, but I, I know that she's in a better place now. To talk, there's all kinds of research and communication that talks about how being able to tell your story and being able to talk to people provi provides catharsis, meaning that if I hold all of this stuff in, that literally has a physiological impact on me, and it's not a good one, right? So being able to tell people about your stress or about your concerns or about what you're feeling is not just good for your emotional state, it's also good for your physical well-being as well stories is sunny um, with a smile on my face because she brought a lot of joy into my life. I suggest other you talk with other people because you hear their stories of how they had pets and lost them and that you're not the only person that's gone through this loss. Moving on is almost a liberating feeling. And she's looking down on us and she has a big smile on her face.